Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how'd we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, John Suter, Bart Moraz, and Brittany Blackman. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm located in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. In today's episode, Amazon discontinues Echo Look fashion camera. Back in April 2017, Amazon quietly introduced the Echo Look Alexa-enabled smart speaker for fashion advice. And in similar fashion, the company has also quietly informed its few thousand users that the Echo Look would be discontinued. Amazon is discontinuing the Echo Look camera, a standalone, de- a standalone device that gave owners fashion advice using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Between now and July 24th, 2021, Look users can back up their images and videos by making a free Amazon Photos account. People with existing Photos accounts will have their media backed up automatically. Anyone who wants to delete all their existing photos and videos will have to do so before the July 2020 deadline. Otherwise, they'll have to call Amazon's customer service to have them deleted. They can currently delete them through the Look app. Amazon said you will be able to access Style by Alexa features through its Amazon shopping app or by asking an Alexa-enabled device, Alexa, what should I wear? Amazon also points out that much of the Echo Look's functionality is now included in the Amazon shopping app, including Style by Alexa which involves the AI offering fashion pointers. The company says people should download the app to keep consulting with Amazon, and they should also recycle their look through Amazon's program. VoiceBot AI points out that Amazon Echo Look always seemed like an experiment. It was launched in a closed invite-only beta three years ago. A year later, it was made available to the public for purchase, though there was never much attention paid to the device in Amazon's product launch events. Echo Look was the first Alexa-enabled product that included a camera. However, it notably had no screen. The first smart display, Echo Show, would launch two months later and get a product refresh within 15 months of launch. To the contrary, Echo Look never received a formal product update and wasn't even billed as a smart speaker. The company made clear that Echo Look could not do many of the things that were popular features on Echo smart speakers. So some may say this device was doomed from the start. I remember when this came out, I kind of thought it was odd. And I guess. Yeah, we were like, what? <laughs> it's a specific device for a specific person. I just was wondering where they thought it was going to go beyond that. Or if it was just experiment, let's throw it out there. Because the writing is right there. They didn't promote it. When it first came out, we all went, mm-hmm. and then that was it. I never thought about it again until I saw this article. At this yeah. point, I swear when the Echo Look came out too, they were releasing a bunch of gadgets. Like it seems like every other day they were releasing new stuff like this. And you're right. They used to have a keynote thing. Do you remember that Bart? Amazon used to have the keynote thing and they used to have all, they were rolling and they had the microwave and they had. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Alexa that, enabled everything. Yeah. And that seems to have slowed down a bit or, or maybe they're just doing it in a different way. But I remember Look was part of that. And again, I always thought it was an odd thing. And I guess it's one of those things, it's like people who love it really love it, and people who don't get it will never buy it and will never care about it. I mean, you can still ask her what to wear that day, which is interesting. But yeah, the look thing was just weird. Because now a lot of the functions that that device was supposed to do can simply be done with a phone. The only difference between that is that the look was a static device, meaning you sat that in that spot where you took your pictures every day. And if and again, this is a specific device for a specific audience that mm-hmm. really, really wants to catalog their wardrobe and really, really cares that they're not repeating the same outfit in the same week. That's a but very that goes, narrowed audience. 
that just goes for what Amazon does with all this stuff. Remember the little grocery thing that you scan with? That was dash good for button. a while. Yeah. I mean, the, the dash buttons. That, what was the other I mean, thing? There was a scanner too, right? It went with yeah, the dash. Yeah. I still have one connected to Wi-Fi. You can kind of scan to order the next things. But I think people were not really scanning. They just had them in the shopping cart anyway. So that changed a lot. I think the devices that got video on them, which we have, let people do other things with it. I think that's what Amazon does, right? They put a whole bunch of stuff out and see what tests well, what people yeah. actually have and what they use. Kindle obviously is the best example of that. Obviously, it just came out and that's a success for them. But things like their phones or their Fire Kindle didn't really work. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously they have the capital to experiment. It's kind of like Google and that, you know, you throw things out there if it doesn't work. Fortunate thing, making the comparison to Google is that they go, hmm, this ain't working for us. We're going to sunset it. That certain audience goes, well, I really like that. <laughs> Don't take my Google reader away. Don't take my RSS feeds right. away. I mean, I'm sure there's a small audience that is mourning the passing of the Echo Look camera. They just like try to futurize everything. And sometimes their efforts to like futurize things are kind of almost embarrassing because this is what you thought we need it right now as a society. And you have to realize that most of the things that these devices would do have been shunted over to the phone in your hand. I mean, the phones are now so Mm -hmm. powerful that why would you build another device that a phone could do? Bart, getting back to that scanner, does that thing still work or has that been deprecated? Is that not... Used no, it doesn't work. Yeah, I have one on my fridge still because it was magnetic. It was just I put it up there, but yeah, it doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> That's where my Amazon Echo remote is still on the refrigerator. I don't think I've ever used it once. Why would you have a voice device and a remote? <laughs> yeah. Think about it. We're going to close this on with a little Echo Look stat time. As of December 2nd, 2019, the Echo Look had 457 reviews. But as of today, that figure is 604. That means reviews rose by 32% after they stopped selling the device. And there were reviews for verified purchases posted as recently as this month. What was the point of these people reviewing? Oh, okay. So you got a verified purchase here. He's given a one star. Like his one star is good. I'm not happy with this continuation. I'm not happy with this. Worked great until it didn't. Yeah. And I guess some people are doing the four or five stars, you know, like, listen, guys, if we give them enough stars, maybe they'll bring it back. What do you think? Come on, yeah, guys. That's what I thought, too. Oh, Britt, you know you have one. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you? I've been wearing the same Comfort Colors t-shirt and athletic shorts for like six weeks straight. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I can't uh, lie. It's a win I when am- I brush my hair. I'm with you. I came back to Philly for some things. And I think this is the first time I'm actually wearing real shorts <laughs> instead of gym shorts. Wow. Yes. wow. The summertime, I tend to have my summer uniform. But <laughs> in our COVID cleanouts, I keep looking at my closet full of dress shirts and I'm going, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I know. I try on clothes just to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at sumo heavy.